Aries, keep it there, please. Keep it nice. Keep it gentle. Keep it lovingly. Don't be popping off, Aries. Don't be pop. Y'all see Fat Man, Batman? You, he always in this position. Why he always in this position, y'all? Why his face always like that, y'all? Y'all say what's up to Fat Man, Batman? Hey, Fat Man, what's going on? What's wrong with you today? Hmm? What's wrong? Child. That's son, we want to send him over there, let him deal with himself for a second. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. What's popping? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it one time for the one time for my air breeze. Keep it there, peace. Don't be popping off, Aries. Don't be popping off, not just yet. Not just yet. Listen. Y'all see we got a nice stack here. We got some new deck announcements. Y'all know every month we be having a stack of new decks that be rolling up through here. Listen, we have got the Under the Rose Lenormand deck. Okay? You will be seeing that used today. You already know we got gangster ass Alice coming through. Smacking shit out the way. Get out the way. Get, get out the way. Okay? We got the Alice in Wonderland playing card deck. We also have the Music Genius playing card deck. I think you guys might have seen me use this in the collective. We also have the Hip Hop East versus West rap quote decks. You guys will see me use that later. But today you will see me using the Oracle of Visions deck. So shout out to everyone who has sent some support, sent some love to the page to say thank you. If these videos have been resonating, um, thank you to everyone who's been booking personal and private readings. Thank you guys so, so very much to all the love and support y'all been sending to the page. If if you guys, um, if any of these videos resonate and you guys just want to, you know, send some love and light over this way, you can check out my Amazon wish list or um, my PayPal link if you want to send a dollar or two to help, you know, update equipment and, and, and grow around here. All that information is in the about tab. My booking is in the about tab as well. If you guys want to book a personal private reading with me, with Scorpion Red Tarot, what you need to do is book and then link. There is a hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that link. Book with me. All right. And then you link up with me. All right. So. There's an Instagram link directly under the booking link. Once you book, send me a message and say, hey, Reds, this is so-and-so. I booked at this date of time, and we'll link up there for that private reading, okay? So, what else? Oh, um, if you want to record your video session with me, um, there's an add-on in the uh, menu for a video cap direct upload and you can use that if you want to record your video session with me i can record that and do a private upload to youtube and send it to you so you can watch your reading back as many times as you want to and it's a private link exclusively to me and you all right and or if you don't want to get on camera and if you prefer to just send me your question and have me just to record the reading and upload it to YouTube so you can watch it at your leisure, we can do that as well. What you need to do is book your reading, send me the question pertaining to the type of reading that you ordered. Um, just make sure you only tell me the question, not the information surrounding why you're asking a question. Because I don't want you to say, I just told you that, you know, so, so. We're going to address the question, see what Spirit has to say, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to record the video, we'll send the link, and then we'll chit-chat afterwards and, you know, see how it resonated with you, okay? So within about 24 to 48 hours, you should have your video uh, uploaded and recorded and the link sent to you, okay? So um, if you guys do not have an Instagram, you guys can connect with me for your video sessions or just, you know, the communication on Google Hangouts. Um, it's an easy app to download. You can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And if you have any questions, you guys can um, contact me there. Um, or if you guys just want to talk, you guys can um, email me at uh, scorpionreds at gmail.com. So anyway, let's get into the reading. Let me take a quick sip of my coffee. Honey, I made it too sweet today. Good God, honey. Why I put all that sugar in there? Lord, help me anyway. You know, I like my stuff hard and strong, honey. Yes, come on, Aries. Anyway, 
Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries today. Thank you so much for all of the glory and all the blessings. I what I I, I just what I just hear something about we slave and we pray. What the heck does that mean? I feel like I feel like Aries we slave and we pray. I feel like Aries has been like maybe slave working and stuff, like working really hard or something like that. It's like I feel like they're like slaving themselves to get working hard and hustling, 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 hustling. And I slightly want to say Aries might not be taking care of themselves as much as they should because they're hustling and they're working so hard and feeling like they got to work so hard. And it's like they just praying for their salvation. <laughs> It's like they're just praying for their salvation. They're just praying for Savior or something like that. And it's, they're like working hard towards this. Um, anyway, let me get into the energy because like that phone call just threw me off. And I'm really interested in knowing why I heard that we, we slave and we pray for our salvation. Father God, give me guidance for Aries for July 2019. Thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give me guidance. Give me guidance for my Aries. I'm not, it's like, I'm not feeling like a world down, stressed, and heavy energy. I'm just getting just like tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tired of having to work so hard or something like that. Give me guidance for my Aries. Opportunity to forgive. Opportunity to forgive. And that's a lot of blue, so that's throat chakra. It says, this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Mm. Those were some deep ass words. I feel like I need to read that shit again. It says this situation brings the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. That's what I feel. It's like... But I've been feeling like that for a while with Aries. Like, they have been, like, almost, like, <laughs> stressing and killing itself, going too beyond measures to change, to get people to understand that they change and that they're growing and they're trying to release the negative shit that, that normally plague them, that they normally be getting themselves into, but they always be feeling like people be trying to pull them back. Like people in situations be pulling them backwards and they're, and they're trying so hard to release those negative patterns. That's why I feel like that we save and we pray for our salvation. I feel like that's why I heard that because it's like someone is just, it's something is just pulling at them, you know? And then it says, hold the intentions of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. And I, and, and I feel that saying is like, you guys need to hold on a little bit more with trying to see the good intentions and, and the divine light in other people than maybe feel like you're being attacked and people are, are trying to do something to you. You know, I feel like that's one thing that you guys need to work on seriously. Um, I don't feel like everyone is out to get you and everyone is trying to harm you. I feel like y'all, y'all, some of you guys do have a negative mindset pattern that y'all need to release of just having negative thoughts towards people's intentions towards you. And that's why you're saying to hold the intentions of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. You need to see more good in people. Because if you constantly thinking someone's doing something bad to you, more bad is going to come to you because you're manifesting it to you. It says, we will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. 
Yeah, we had to break that down. Opportunity to forgive. Let's get into this, Aries. Let's see what we got going on for July. You wonder why. Shit be popping off in July. You wonder why. What's about to pop off? What's about to happen? Capping. I'm the master of my state. I am the captain of my destiny. All right. The chariot. You better, you better listen. You better come on through with your kimono dragons. You like, man, I don't need no goddamn horses. I'm coming through with dragons. Bitch, I already know how my wagon dragon. You already know how this wagon dragon, honey. I come through with beast. Okay? I better know who Aries is. What? And you and you committed to moving forward successfully. You determined to move forward successfully. You are moving forward successfully. And you are successful. And ain't nobody going to stop you. Because anyone get in front of this wagon, you're going to get eight up. <laughs> you're going to get eight up, honey. What's this? The eight of cups. You guys are going back to something. I feel like you guys, let's see what else this is saying. A Ten of Pentacles. You guys are going back to a situation. You guys are going back to a situation where it could have been a stable and successful and happy home. But for some reason, something didn't work out and there was a level of emotional unfulfillment there and you left or someone left you and clearly if you're having to move back either Aries got kicked out of this home or Aries kicked this person out of their home and they're they're moving back to Aries but I'm not taking this as no cross watch or nothing I mean this is Aries this is Aries they moving back to a home that was once established and destroyed to see if they could fix it. Seems like it to me. Pinnacles represent work. The King of Cups. Oh, hell yeah. And two of Swords. Hmm. Now, the King of Cups. <clears throat> and like I told you. Aries be having to get it through the mud. People don't even understand. Like, and I think that that's the that's the that's the thing with Aries. Why they always be feeling victimized and stuff because people don't be understanding the stuff that Aries be having to go through. <laughs> Look, Aries be having to get it through the mud. You understand? They have to work hard in order to get that chariot to goddamn run. They had to get their ass out there in the dirt, in the rain, in the hail, the sleet, snow, whatever the damn weather it was. Go out there and fix that car where it looked like an old piece of shit. Fix it, build it back together to get that engine running. No matter how dirty they they had to get, but they was they're determined to move forward. So they had to go through a lot. They had to go through a lot. Okay? And not only that, but it's like you had to get your emotions in check. For real, for real. Because one thing about Aries sometimes, y'all can spaz out emotionally. Like when y'all feel like somebody. When y'all just feeling like whatever the fuck y'all feel like. The Aries that I know, they don't hold their tongue back. They don't. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Like. They're not one to run from an argument. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like now this Aries is more emotionally mature. And I feel like their heart is stable and know what they want. I just, I feel like, um, Aries went through a lot to get this running. Oh, and this nigga done built a fucking spaceship. Hold on. I didn't even realize this was a motherfucking spaceship. Hold up, bitch. Oh, this is a motherfucking spaceship. He done took this old rusty car. He done re rebuilt that shit. He turned that shit into a fucking rocket. Okay, hold on. I didn't even realize that shit. Okay? This Aries might got dreads. Nice body, too. Might be a little older, but he got like a nice little... Because this, this one seemed like he, he, he works a lot. 
Mm. Or definitely see, seems like if it's someone that, if it's something that he really wants, he's willing to go through the mud to get whatever to take off. You know, Aries a fire sign. They're ready to get shit popping. They're ready to get shit popping. But right here, though, this two of swords, this two of swords is something that is kind of tearing Aries apart a little bit. Because they got this pearl over here. And then they got this snake over here. And they got two stairwells. It's like they got two different paths to choose. So. Aries is moving forward triumphantly. Successfully. They got their emotions together. Because that's one thing about the chariot. This is someone that has their emotions together. Like I told you. The King of Cups got their emotions together, okay? And this Aries, whoever y'all are dealing with, if this is an Aries woman, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Water Sign male, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this person has got their emotions together now. Whatever made them leave before with his home and his foundation... Where it seemed like it was something that should have been committed and strong and long lasting. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling for this person because they didn't know what they wanted. And still, this person is still in, in, in a place where they're still having to make hard decisions. And they're having to communicate it. They're having to break patterns. opportunity to forgive this July is going to be an opportunity for someone either the Aries or the person that's dealing with the Aries to come back and see if they can take this moment to forgive the obstacle that this person is going to have to deal with is am I going to continue going down the same road that I always gone the easy road right here that got the snake at the bottom of the steps. There is nothing in the way. It's like a clear path to get up this dark road. But if you see it on this side. It's the moon. It's secrets. It's deception. It's a, it's, it's, and it's a dark individual. It's a dark individual up this step. And it's easy to take that path. That's the easy road. On this other side here. Where this person is split apart. It has this pearl. But if you look up this flight of steps, it's rain. It's like um, the beach. It's like it's rough waves. You see scratches and shit. And it's like you're going to have to go through a whole lot of shit. Oh, God, why is everyone calling? It's like you're going to have to go through a whole lot of shit to walk up this flight of steps. But the person at this Top of this step is the light. This is the light. This is the darkness. That is the snake. That is the pearl. So it's like this person is being torn apart. Because it's like. Am I going to continue to take the easy road? Or, I'm, or, I'm, or am I willing to walk through the trenches? And deal with everything. And I don't know, like this, I feel like this might be karma. Like all of this hard hardship that's coming down on Aries. I feel like it may be some level of karma. Cause it seemed like they always took that hard road because it was easier. It was easier. It was easier. Look at this card. I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. Do y'all see that dark moon up there? And if you look at the top of the steps, look at the steps here. You see, listen, you see the dark person here. And at the other step, you see this light person here. Look at all, now you see the pearl. Look at, you see the rain. You see the rough, you see the rough waves. You see the, the, the scratches or, or whatever. You see all this stuff. Now look over here where that snake is. You don't see none of that shit. It's a clear path right on up there to mystery, secrets, darkness. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like...
you gotta like Aries has to understand that this is an opportunity to for you to forgive or to go forth to see if you can be forgiven. But you gotta you gotta make a choice and you gotta stand firm in your choice of what you're gonna do. You know? Cause you're moving, but what path are you gonna take? Are you gonna continue to take the easy route into the darkness? Are you gonna be willing what you say? Um God, what God, what were you saying in the beginning to me? You were saying you were slaving. Slaving and slaving in prayer or something, whatever the hell I said. Slaving in prayer for salvation or some something out. It was like that. But it's like you going through right now, you going up the right path. As as hard as it seems, like you're going up the right path. And it's like the steps are so slippery because it's raining so hard on you. Your clothes are drenched. You're cold. You're like literally on your hands and knees crawling up these steps. Like, God, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you just slaving yourself. You hungry. You tired. You're wet. But it's like I could turn back and go and walk up deep and just have a clear path. And you know what I'm saying? But it's like. I'm praying for my salvation and I'm saving myself up this step because I know it's a harder road. But I know once I get up here, it's going to lead me to the light. But you can easily turn back around and go back the same road. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think Aries is willing to do that anymore. They're not willing to do that no more. And you see how... This king of, you see how this king of cups, you see how he has his hand on his cranium, on his head? Like, nah, motherfucker. I listen, I done made this spaceship. I done got this rocket. Look, I already know what the fuck is up, bro. I, I, I done learned my lesson. I feel like they learned their lesson. I did not even realize all this time I done had this debt. Why am I just now realizing that Aries? was in a spaceship. I just looked at this. I always look at this King of Cups as a dirty, nasty old man. Because I just like, I don't like all that dirt and stuff. Like, to me, he got dirt and crud on his feet. I'm just like, ugh. That ain't no King of Cups that I want. Like, ugh. But it's just like that. Such a curious dream. Coming home, I told you. Bitch, didn't I tell you? Now, come on now. This says grounding, returning to reality, coming home. Bitch, didn't I tell you? I told you. Aries is going back home. Whatever it is that Aries considers home. This home right here, this one that they left, they should have never left it. They are grounded. They are secure. They know what they want. They know the mistakes that they made. And like they said, ha, 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 ha. I know which road to take this time, bitch. Ha, ha, ha. I ain't get dirty like that. I ain't go through. Look, I, look, I got dirty enough going up this bitch. Oh, mm -mm -mm. Listen, I'm about to just pray and pray and pray for my salvation. Father God, get me about this. this listen, come on. I'm going to keep fighting. Such a curious dream. Let me read this real quick. It says, a time when work must be done. Eat well and prepare good meals, all right? Make magic in your everyday activities and ordinary moments. A return from an ordinary experience, an adventure, a travel, or holiday. When the time is right, you'll encounter Wonderland once again, okay? So... I feel like it's a return back to reality. I feel like whatever, if this was an Aries that took a break from the married life and they was out being single and, you know, I feel like it's, they realize it's time to go back home. I need, I need that foundation. I need that structure. I, need, I feel like this Aries realized that they, thrive better and they do better when they have the structure of a house, a home, a wife, children, a husband, you know what I'm saying, or a husband or whatever, like, they realize that that single life ain't for them, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, 
It's like, I wonder what it'd be like if I went back home. I wonder if I could get that key again. I wonder if it would be an opportunity for us both to look at each other and to forgive each other and try to build this foundation again. The Hierophant, yep. Yeah. The Hierophant. This person is going back to commitment. I feel like this person is going back to structured values. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person knows how to be a committed man or woman. They may not act like it. Listen, look, 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 look at that motherfucker up in the tree. Might not act like it. But beneath all of that, guy, look at that damn, look beneath all of that, okay? Because I don't even like the way that cat look, okay? I look like a bad kitty, okay? Beneath all of that, okay, this, this, this Aries has good judgment. And like I said, this Aries is coming back for forgiveness because they want to try to solidify this commitment again because, you know, they may make, may be making a voyage, you know, back home because they're tired of Wonderland. You know what I'm saying? Was such a curious dream. But now it's time to go back home. You know what I'm saying? I thrive better. I make better decisions. It's like, I feel like for this Aries, it's like, if you just let me be wild out in the street and just everything, it's going to be a bunch of chaos. You know what I'm saying? And I feel, especially if this was an Aries man, I feel like they might have had like a big situation with a whole bunch of different females fighting and arguing over them, a whole bunch of drama and shit. And I feel like this Aries is a little bit older now. I want to say about maybe 45 or something like that. If they're not 45... They're in their late 30s going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person is older. Where they already done did that phase. And that shit, where so they thought the grass was greener, let me go out here. Because I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? They got out there and quickly realized that that shit ain't cute. That shit ain't cute. So, it's like, this Aries might have told them broads or these dudes, like, listen... Okay, I told you guys that this wasn't going to be no commitment and then I was dating. So if you guys want to have it up and want to argue and fuss and everything like that, do as you will. But I am letting you know it won't be that you're arguing and fussing over me because I'm excluding myself from this chaos. Okay, so to, Aries don't want nothing to do with none of them. It's like they got good judgment. And not only that, it's like morally, morally, they're thinking about what they're doing and morally, if it's right judgment, if it's good judgment. You know what I'm saying? Like how they going to look morally. And it's just like, Aries is like, I'm tired of this shit, man. This shit ain't even cute no more. It's just not cute. It was such a curious dream. It really was. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is someone that wanted to go out and have a quick hoe phase or like a little player player moment or something like that like you know what i'm saying like this is like a dude that went through a quick little hoe phase like they were in like a commitment for so long or something wanted to be single went out there realized the shit was cute but it ain't everything that is cracked up to be before swords yeah this person has retreated from that lifestyle and is really sitting back contemplating and thinking and you know Doing a little bit of self analyst, if you will, because it's just like, what was so wrong with what I had where I had a solid and stable environment around me, but I destroyed it, or whoever destroyed it, it was destroyed where I was feeling like it wasn't successful emotionally and I just walked away with literally the, the, the shirt on my back like to come out here go through all of this with a whole bunch of people I ain't even really tripping over you know what I'm saying to hurt the person that I really loved only to decide I want to go back so like this is what this Aries is sitting under this tree thinking about you know what i'm saying and i feel like aries has been having a lot of vivid dreams about this moment and this opportunity to ask for this forgiveness to 
present their self anew. You understand? What is this? The strength in reverse. But I feel like Aries has an issue with giving in to temptation. You understand what I'm saying? With the strength in reverse, they have... They have an issue with giving in to temptation. And the temptation is when you walking up that long, hard road, it's like, man, why should I put myself through this bullshit when I can easily take this the dark path, which I'm used to taking? You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, I'm going to be fucking with a whole bunch of people I really don't like. And it's going to end up being because this is someone that they couldn't be fulfilled with just one person because they wasn't giving it to them. It wasn't a full package. So they had to have a whole bunch of other people just to get the fulfillment that one person was giving them that they wasn't satisfied with. Only now to find out that they're satisfied with it. But it's like every time Aries try to get their self back up on their high horse to... Because emotionally they know that this is what they want and this is what they need. But it's like them having to face the karma and the judgment, having to face the judgment, you know, morally morally spiritually you know what i'm saying because i feel like certain shit is happening around aries right now that only god can explain why it's happening you see what i'm saying and they're going through moral judgment they're going through a karmic phase right now where they are having to face consequences not even in dealing with they haven't even faced a person yet. It's such circumstances of shit that's happening around them that they just know, like, where well, Aries is like, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> like, what have I done? And, like, right now, they are in operation fix-it mode right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are slaving their self to find a resolution. So, this is what this card means, like, trying to smooth everybody's feathers down so... It won't be no more chaos. And like now they're resting. Now that they smoothed everyone's feathers down. Now they're resting. But I feel like they're just scared that they don't have enough strength. To get their ass up. Go back on this journey. Because now they got to start from beginning. Uh, all over. You know what I'm saying? Because they want this pearl. They want that light. You understand? Oh, wrong side. They want the pearl. They want the light. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to have to start from beginning. And try to go back up this treacherous road and deal with and face with their karma to get to the top of the steps to get to this light and abundance you know what i'm saying what is this five of cups the empress yep this aries is this aries is regretting every day every day every day spilling over those cups um, I feel like there was a lot of crying. Like, there was a lot of crying. There was a lot of tears. And you see how this empress looks over here? Like, it was so much tears to the point where this empress that they left behind, which is beautiful. Beautiful. And it could have been somebody that left someone behind that was pregnant as well. Or if the person wasn't pregnant, um... The person definitely has their children. It was their children's mother. Because you can definitely... I mean, it did the ten, of, ten of Pentacles. This person regrets this every day. And like I said, this Aries has vivid dreams of what this person could be doing. You see how I hurt the hurt on her face. I feel like it replays, it replays, it replays, it replays, it replays in this Aries. You see, she don't even got her shoe. Like, I don't even, I feel like this for some reason. I feel like this empress. It took a lot for her to pull herself together after what this Aries did to her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it had to take her friends and her family and like everybody to emotionally pull her together and to help her recognize her beauty, to help her recognize her strength and the divinity and the beauty that was within her because of what was done and what destroyed this, this marriage here with this Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like this Empress is just now getting her shoes back on. She's, you know, her friends, her family that got her fixed up. And this Aerie feels really, really bad. 
and it's just like well how do I come to this person with this and let them know that all of this shit was just a curious dream <laughs> all of this shit was just a curious dream like I really didn't mean to hurt you I really didn't mean to sacrifice our marriage our commitment our love I was just confused I was an emotional wreck I was the one you know what I'm saying I, I thought it was cute to go out there and have all of these different selections that have all of these choices that have all of these you know people competing against each other and I realized that this shit wasn't it just wasn't worth it it just wasn't worth it and this Aries is having the hardest time finding the strength they're having the hardest time finding the strength to to reach this person because they have such deep level of regret because of what they've done and it's like they sit back and they think and they just dreaming about what to do how to resolve this conflict you know what I'm saying what am I supposed to do I feel like they are trying to find the answers in their dreams and some shit like that So, clarify this, Hierophant, the Judgment, the Five of Wands in reverse, the Four of Swords, the Strength in reverse, the Five of Cups, and the Empress, please. Clarify. The Jack of Spades. It was careless of him. To put another man's helmet on with the man still in it. Okay. The Jack of Spades is like an enforcer. It's like it's it, yeah, it's like an it's like enforcement. It's like enforcement. Um a jack of spades is also someone that has a certain level of power and authority and say so where they can implement certain things and Aries is all about power y'all know that so with that being said this is Aries rushing back you know because Jax to me represents knights as well um I feel like this is Aries Coming back very fast, very fast, very rapid. And like I said, they're coming back making a call of judgment in regards to their behavior. And they're saying like it was careless of me to try to go and have a relationship with someone when I was already in a commitment with you. Like I said, how careless of him to put on another man's helmet with the man still in it. You see what I'm saying? How you going to go out there and try to be something with someone else when you committed to me? Clarify for Aries. I feel like this is Aries coming back. Like they. The four of diamonds. Oh, oysters. Come and walk with us. The warriors did. Beseech. I feel like hmm. 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 All right. So this is what I'm getting, you guys. This is what I'm getting. So with this four diamonds right here, I feel like I feel like this Aries is going to come back. They're going to be authoritative. They're going to be kind of stern and very serious in their communication. And I don't want to make it seem like they're going to try to lure you out to talk to them. But I do feel like they are going to try to 
lure you out to talk to them because you look uncomfortable. You understand what I'm saying? Because of everything that was done, like you were, you were really done wrong by this person. So, I, Aries could be coming back with gifts. They could be coming back with gifts uh, with this four diamonds and trying to, you know, impress you to, 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 to get your favors, to try to solidify the foundation that they can feel comfortable to have this conversation with you. This king of clubs here, it says, don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on a spot. I feel like with this Aries... When they come back with this communication, I feel like if this person that they are, this empress, if she looks too nervous, you see how she looks too nervous? I feel like if it looks like it's something that's too hard, Aries will just walk away. Because like I said, this strength in reverse. So, so, so if you put up too much of a fight, Aries is just going to execute the whole idea you know what i'm saying they're going to execute they're going to they're going to walk away from trying to execute this apology with you because if you if you're looking too scared they're not they're, they're not going to deal with it because i feel like aries it just really doesn't have the energy to like argue and all of that stuff like that they already feel bad enough. It's like, I don't want to hurt her no more. You know what I'm saying? So, before it'll get into something where they feel like it'll trigger her back down this road. Because I said, look at her. She don't got her shoes on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she already ain't really together. And I don't know why this empress in this deck ain't really together like that. But she already ain't together. So, it's just like, if... Me coming back to her is going to make her unravel anymore. Then I'm just not even going to do this shit. I'm just going to cut this shit out. And I'm just going to give her this gift. And I'm just going to go on. And I'm just going to say sorry. And I'm not even going to try to see if I could fix this commitment that we had. This jack of um, hearts. Jack of hearts. So not only is he coming forth. Feeling powerful, feeling like he has an obligation and a duty to try to fix this and smooth things over and make things right with this person. He really loves this person. He really cares about this person. And he knows that he stole this person's heart. And I feel like he's trying to give it back and, and, and put it in the right place and prepare it. It says the knave of hearts. He stole those tarts and took it right away. He knows that he stole this person's heart and took it right away and didn't do the right thing with it. So I feel like he's going to try to bring it back and repair it and make things better. He's going to try to repair it and make things better. And the king of clubs is someone that is action oriented is an athletic man is um someone that's sporty you know what i'm saying i mean and i really do take that as the aries i mean i take that as the aries um i just want to verify real quick with that four of what that four of diamonds means real quick honey four of diamonds Financial stability, financial papers, rented property, a license or certificate, a ticket, a bank account, a storage box, a checkbook, a wallet, a jewelry box, an office, a desk, financial stability. So, and like I said, this relationship was a ten of pentacles in the past. So there was security, there was stability around it. Hmm. Let's get some additional guidance here. Give me guidance in regards to love for Aries for July.
This card to me looks like the Magician card. It looks to me like... And, and it also... And also... This means like a, 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 a magician, like an illusion, if you will. And it's urging me to go pull up the... Um, the Jack of Spades... It's pulling. It's, it's urging me to do that because it's like I don't know if this is the Aries that's coming back or what, or if this is the Aries doing this to someone. But it says the Jack of Spades is skillful, clever young person. Most often a male, a soldier, a cadet, a police officer, a young person from foreign country, a young leader, maybe unsettled, erratic, emotionally inconsistent. A youth in trouble, a bully, a gang member, a juvenile delinquent, a cold calculation, calculating, emotionally controlled, detached, a liar, a spy, can represent the dark thoughts or the thoughts of a king, a queen, of spades. So, yeah, that's, and it's like. And now that I'm looking at the face of this cat, I don't know if I really, tr I mean, and she looks so uncomfortable with this person trying to approach her for forgiveness. And you know what I'm saying? Like, this person was done so wrong. And I think I understand, like, I understand because this woman knows that this man like he said, if you if, don't be nervous or I have you executed on the spot, it's like literally if you don't act the way that this person wants you to act, they'll just they'll just execute you out and they'll go back up that dark road without even questioning. It. You know what I'm saying? The, the knave of hearts stole those tarts and took them quite away like they don't have any problem with executing you out. If you're not acting the way that they want you to act and going back up that dark path. And that's why that woman looks so scared like that. Like this motherfucker frightens me because I feel like it's a kind of a Dr. Jekyll, Miss, Mrs. Hyde type of thing like that. And this magician right here, I feel like this person, this empress feels and she knows I can't trust this person because... Everything that this person says and does is an illusion. It's calculated. It's manipulative. This person is clever. They know what to say. They know what to do to try to manipulate their self to come back around here and lure me out to speak to them so they, they can try to work their magic on me to get financial security. She knows what this person is up to. That's why she looks so scared like that. I was wondering, because I'm just like, what's going on here? And it, what the fuck, bro? The fuck? Come on now. Now I'm starting to get irritated, young. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. But anyway, and I know that this means illusion. I just want to verify this. I want to verify this. Yes, misleading illusion, confusion. It says, don't be misled by what you see around you or be influenced by what you see. You live in a world which is a playground of illusion, full of false paths, false values, and false idols. But you are not a part of that world. Okay, so... This empress is not a part of that world. I feel like she done already had her ass shaked, rattled, and rolled by this person. I don't know if this empress is the Aries or if this is the person that did this to Aries. Honestly, if this is an Aries male, I feel like this is an Aries male that did this to this empress. I really do. 
I really do. And I feel like they're coming around. Work. They're going to come around again. They're going to come around again trying to work their same shit. And I want y'all to watch yourself. Again, it says an opportunity to forgive. And if someone, if you're trying to come around and you're trying to ask for forgiveness and you feel this confident and all that stuff like that and you're trying to do what's morally right and have good judgment and you're just trying to smooth things out and everything like that you have thought long and hard about this before you even try to reach out to this person respect and you feel bad respect but my main thing is is if this person doesn't react and respond the way that you want them to, you just willing after after you already know that you don't hurt this person or everything that you done did. If you just willing to just cut out and just treat them like they ain't nothing, like what the fuck is the point of you coming back and trying to see if there's an opportunity to forgive just because you ain't get what you want? You're going to do nothing but hurt this person yet again. What is this? Expectations message of concern imprisonment yeah this person that's on the receiving end this this empress she already is expecting she already is expecting this shit she was like expecting your arrival she already got messages of concern to watch out for false imprisonment this person is going to come back around trying to make it seem like they emotionally got their self together. And it's not that they don't have their self together. They emotionally know what they're moving back to because they know what they want. But it's why do they want it? They want it for financial security. That's what this is telling me. Because this is still saying the loss of pinnacles, the loss of ten pinnacles, they lost their financial their financial structure, their financial stability around them, all because it wasn't something that was emotionally fulfilling to them. And they went over yonder thinking that the grass was greener and they ended up going down a harder road than what, you see what I'm saying? So now they're going to try to come back and paint this illusion. Look, they're coming back with peace and harmony. It's an illusion. They still gonna come back in a little bit after they get a couple bills paid, get their belly fat, or whatever it is that they're expecting that they're coming back home to. They're still gonna eventually be emotionally unfulfilled again, and you're gonna go back through the same thing again. And this empress is gonna feel in prison. Like, why did I let this person back into my life? This person already showed me who the fuck they were to begin with. And came back saying, don't be nervous or I have you executed on the spot. And then that follows up with the neighbor hearts. He stole those tarts and took it quite away. So if you make a false move, this person ain't going to do nothing but steal your heart again and take it quite away and go and do whatever the fuck they want to do. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Whoever this empress is. Do not fall for the illusion. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if this is the Aries that is doing this, like, as above, so below. You got to understand. And it says that in the magician card, on a tarot card, that's why it has that infinity sign swirling above the magician's head. Because the magician has to realize what you put out, you get back. Your intentions with dealing with people and situations need to be pure. If you're not coming back with the thought of, I'm coming back because I love this person. I want to be with this person because I genuinely care about this person. Don't come back with commitment with your face looking like that. Like you up to something because it's like you just really looking for financial security and to imprison someone and to take care of you financially that's not no uh uh somewhere that emotionally you really don't want to be but you just know it's a safe haven for you financially where you just like that's not cool opportunity to forgive 
Give me guidance, expectations, message of concern, imprisonment. Give me guidance for Aries, July. Fish. Like I said, I feel like there's going to be some type of wealth and abundance there. Space represents like the end of troubles, the end of hardships, the end of okay. This clock tower right here, y'all see that six of spades, right? The six of spades represents the end of hardships, the end of past struggles, like the uh, like the worst is over, you know what I'm saying? I'm going into new beginnings, and you know what I'm saying, like. Time is on my favor. I'm upgrading my standards. You understand what I'm saying? I'm separating myself from any type of adversity. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is making better decisions. Thinking of things in different perspective. Like, having your mindset on... Like making better constructive decisions. Do you understand what I'm saying? Upgrading your standards. You know what I'm saying? Giving your time to something that's time better spent. Do you understand what I'm saying? The fish, this represents money, wealth, prosperity, um, new beginnings. Um, you know, a lot of times people say fish means pregnancy new birth you understand what i'm saying so like it, it means like a, a windfall of money time investment time better spent standards better structure separating yourself from any type of hardship in your life you understand the time is up for hardships the stars this represents dreams this represents like imagination uh the six of hearts this represents a new passionate love new passionate desire um you know you guys feeling like you're seeing the signs or something you know what i'm saying like whoever this is they feel like new wealth prosperity abundance a better standard of life a better standard of the time that they're giving to their dreams, their fortunate aspirations. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they'll just have a better life here with this empress. Yeah, with this lady, with this empress. With this lady. The ace of spades means the death card. Transitions. You know what I'm saying? This is someone, they look at this woman like, this lady right here, you must have, whoever this lady is, must have broke things off with this Aries before. Because whoever this woman is, this lady with this ace of spades, oh, and then the child. The child. I feel like this person elevated this person from being a child. And or like I said, you know, this might be this, this person's child mother, but this woman showed this person the signs that they were immature and truly that they were innocent in a situation and really didn't deserve what happened to them. This one... Use their intuition. Hmm, I don't want to say that. Oh, I ain't saying that. No, 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 no. I ain't saying that. Mm -mm. No, fuck that shit. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say this one used their intuition and they found out about a child.
Cause that jack is that jack of spades. There go that jack of spades again up there. Since it was careless for him to put on another man's helmet with another man still in it. That jack of spades is right there on that damn card with this child. That's a side note. But I feel like this woman might have walked away. Because her intuition was showing her the signs that the time was up in this situation. And she had to think about her wealth and her health and her well-being. This also represents health as well. She had to focus on her new beginnings because she was innocent in a situation. And that's why she walked away because she didn't want to be in prison and this shit no more. And she was receiving a whole bunch of messages of concerns. I feel like this is what happened in the past. But this person is coming back. This person is coming back because, like I said, this person could have possibly left this empress in the middle of a pregnancy and skipped off and did some shit with someone else. So I also feel like that's why the lady is right next to this child. It's either this person is coming back because they're having hopes, dreams, and wishes, and they're having signs that they think that their time will be better spent and they will have a better quality of life with this lady because this person is already expecting this child or you know what I'm saying that this woman was innocent that this woman was innocent and didn't deserve whatever happened and they feel like they will be their time will be better spent and their life will be more fortunate with this person. And that they might want to create a child with this person if they don't have a child with this one. But that might be part of the imprisonment too, so y'all better watch out. I'm sorry, y'all, because I know I'm making this long, but the way the energy turned on this one, I'm like, hold on. I'm going to my rebel deck real quick, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to my rebel deck. And I'm sorry. This video is going to be long, y'all. So, listen. It's my page. I can do what I want to do. So, I'm about to break this down real quick. So, for my people that's in commitments, for my couples, I'm about to pull a rebel card for y'all. Because I do feel like there was someone... That left someone while they were fucking pregnant. And they went out there and tried to see. And sow their royal oats. Or whatever the fuck y'all be saying. And try to see if the grass was greener on the other side. And they didn't. And, it's, and it wasn't. And like this woman is. Distraught by this shit. And now this person want to come back. And want to apologize. But it's like if this woman ain't acting right. They back out the fucking door. And you're not going to do nothing but make this shit even worse and I still want to say like that however this woman is still pregnant this girl is still pregnant or, she, or it's just that they have a child or something I do feel like someone someone somewhere had someone that they left pregnant that's why her shoe her, give me guidance for my Aries in relationships in regards to this opportunity to forgive, give me guidance for my Aries. July. It says unplug. It says turn it all off. It turns them on. Ooh. Ooh. It says unplug. Turn it all off. It turns them on. Hmm. I just heard that that's part of the illusion. And it says sit back and relax. Oral love is in your future. I just heard this is part of the illusion. Okay, so for the ones that were in a relationship. And this person walked away. And now they're coming back. This person is going to come back. And remind you, this is part of the illusion. Like I said, 
And you already feeling uncomfortable with this motherfucker even coming back. Alright? They already know that you're emotionally still a fucking wreck from what happened. Because remember, they stole your tarts and they took it somewhere else. They're going to come back telling you, I know the reason why shit ain't work out between us is because I was always on my phone. And, you know, that guy in the middle of our relationship. So I'm going to unplug. I'm going to turn it all off. So they might come back and they might say, I'm going to shut down my Instagram. I'm going to shut down my Facebook. I'm going to shut down my Snapchat. Whatever. Because they know that that will turn you on. I feel like they know that that was a big thing in y'all's relationship that caused conflict. And they're going to tell you to sit back and relax. And they're going to come back. They're definitely going to come back on their knees trying to give you oral pleasure. Because they know that you like that too. But just... I'm trying to tell you, they're going to come back trying to seem like they're doing something that's morally right, morally balanced, and showing you that they got good judgment and that they're coming back being committed. But I do not like that fucking cat on that Hierophant card, y'all. Judgment means forgiveness. Forgiveness, trying to find balance, trying to fix something that was wrong, trying to right a wrong. So... For my singles, let's see. What? Oh. So for my singles, this person is coming with this opportunity for to forgive. Or if you are the one that's looking for the opportunity to forgive, what's the outcome of that? Any guidance for my singles, my Aries, July, opportunity to forgive. Ooh, that's, that was a lot. This says, get in your heart. It misses you. It says, get out of your... What the fuck, Mo? Shit. It says, get in your heart. It misses you. Get the fuck out of your head. Then it says, spend time with someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. It says, wake up. You are missing some cool shit. Stop sleeping so damn much. So I feel like this might be someone that went through some bout of depression. This is this empress right here. That's why you're having to get yourself back together. Okay? And it's and it's trying to tell you to get into your your heart. Find out what it is that you used to love, who you were before this situation. Stop stressing yourself out, stalking, looking at this person's page and shit. I feel like you spend a lot of your time looking at what this person is doing and stuff like that and it's driving you crazy and if you're not doing that shit you ain't doing nothing but sleeping i feel like you're going through depression and then it says no one wants to listen to that shit complaining makes you weak you has the strength to change the world so do it stop fucking whining you Keep looking back at old pictures, going back, looking at this person's profile, looking at what they're doing. You're always whining and complaining. No one wants to listen to that shit. It says vulnerability is hot as fuck. Drop the fucking ego. And that was them being sarcastic as shit. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Like they're trying to be a fucking asshole. They're trying to tell you to drop the ego. Stop. Having this victim mentality, like complaining to people about what was hap what happened to you, what this person did to you. You look unraveled, as beautiful as you are. You look a shit rat. You know what I'm saying? And like they said, vulnerability is hot as fuck. That's, they're being sarcastic. They're trying to say that that shit isn't attractive. And not only that, vultures pick on vulnerable pray do you understand what i'm saying like you are putting yourself out there to be vulnerable to to bad people and like they said vulnerability is hot as fuck to to, to fuck niggas or to people that want to take advantage of people that 
could be easily manipulated because you're injured. You see what I'm saying? Where well, they can easily come by with some bout of manipulation. Like, oh, don't worry. I can fix it. I can make you feel better. And whole time, they're, they're targeting the low-hanging fruit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's literally what God is trying to tell you. It says you're not the center of the fucking universe. Stop obsessing. I feel like what spirit is trying to tell you is this situation is far bigger than just you. God was trying to teach you something and teach this person something too. And if, it, if, if this person doesn't want to learn what God intended them for, the, for them to learn, that's not your job to obsess about this and try to take this person's journey on as your own. You too busy worrying and obsessing about what this person is doing. You're not focusing on what you were intended to, to learn. You are focusing on what you want. You know what I'm saying? What you want is for them to do an act or whatever, whatever. But this person is coming to you with some manipulative fucking energy that you really... I don't even know why you want it because I don't want nobody trying to come around me for no financial come up. That ain't love, baby. I don't give a fuck. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't come to me with that bullshit. You understand? You are not the center of the universe. Your wants and what you want is not the center of the fucking universe. Your heart and what your heart wants is not the center of the universe. What your heart wants ain't what it needs. You know what I'm saying? So stop, like, get your head out of your ass and stop obsessing. Like it says, stop where, where, where it says, stop sleeping so much. But not only that, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. You need to think about what your heart needs, not what it wants. What your heart wants is not the center of the universe. What your heart needs and what spirit and what God is trying to teach you throughout the situation is what is most important. You obsessing and being emotional wreck and putting yourself out there vulnerable like that is hot as fuck to vultures and devils that want to take people just like you and snatch you. You understand what I'm saying? You got to look at what you're doing and stop trying to play victim. You're not the fucking victim. God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something right now. Like God is trying to tell you something. This is the opportunity to forgive. Okay, forgive this person for what they did to you because it was merely a lesson for your blessing. If you continue to play victim and obsess and dwell on this shit and think that the universe surrounds around you and what you think that your heart wants. You are literally your own enemy. And you need to let that shit go and really pay attention to what God is trying to tell you. Because this person that you're obsessing about, they're obsessing about you, but they're obsessing about you for the wrong thing. They're obsessing for what they can get out of you. And listen, look at this. What illusion that they're going to play on you this time to get the rest of whatever the fuck they can get out of you. You need to find something better worth your time and better worth your energy to concern yourself with. Do you understand what I'm saying? Learn the lesson. Lord, there's too many interruptions. Let me hurry up and wrap this up. And then it says, fuck. You need people around you. It says, fuck, shit's about to get real. I feel like that's why all these interruptions is it's like it's been hella interruptions. It's been a lot of interruptions. And I feel like if there's been a lot of interruptions in regards to what it is that you've been trying to manifest, it's for a purpose because I feel like God really wanted me to take my time to explain this shit to you so that you can get it. And I feel like there have been a couple of people that jumped on and jumped off and jumped on and jumped off of this message. Um, Y'all need to sit down and thoroughly listen to this 
from beginning to end for the singles and for the couples because I, I feel like on both sides, like, both messages resonated. You know what I'm saying? And, and fuck shit is about to get real. Like, for real, like, this person is coming. But you better, better equip and you better arm yourself for this shit. You need people around you because right now you're secluding yourself away from people that can really protect you and arm you and help you because you sitting back obsessing and looking back at this shit being a victim and these people that you need around you, they don't want to be around you because they don't want to hear that shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's an opportunity for you to forgive this person and get your communication and, and, and get shit right so that the people that can be around you can be around you and this asshole come back around you to manipulate you so that you can have the right armor and you can have the right support around you. But if only thing you're doing is coming around playing victim and, and going on and on and on about what motherfuckers done and not showing people that you healed and that you're trying to get over this shit, motherfuckers is not going to deal with you. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. And I'm dead ass serious. This is an opportunity to forgive because this person is going to come back and going to strike again. And if you're going to sit there and keep playing victim, you're going to be vulnerable and this motherfucker's going to eat you alive. Give me guidance and love for my Aries and then we up out of here. What is this saying? Twin flames. Your passion ignites. And I don't, and y'all already know how I feel about this motherfucking shit. Y'all already know how I feel about this shit. And you right here. This is why you've been sitting back letting your life pass you by because you've been you've been trapped in this twin flame shit. And that's the only thing that ignites your passion. And you're not healing. And you got to understand, like I told you, that twin flame bullshit is like a fucking drug. Do you understand what I'm saying? These people are drug dealers. If they keep you sick, it keeps money in their pocket. I am not here to drag you through no misery sitting back waiting for someone to come back. This person that's coming back is not good. It's not good. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it goes for you too. You have a decision to make, my dear. Are you going to keep taking your ass up that fucking dark path with that snake? This is a snake. That twin flame... That one that you waiting for that you've been stressing, you've been stalking. Y'all y'all are literally subscribing to a term that is turning you guys into obsessive stalkers. Y'all think that shit is cute? That shit got you unraveled. As beautiful as you are, look at you. Look at what that term, twin flame, has created for a lot of you people. And like I told you... Whoever started this shit needs to be shot because they have fucked up a lot of people's lives. They have turned y'all into obsessive stalkers and y'all don't even realize that shit. Y'all really don't realize that shit. Obsessing about someone that is not even fucking good for you because of this term, twin fucking Blame. And that is the only thing that ignites your passion, that ignites you. That's the only thing that you put your actual energy into. Focusing on this love that is some bullshit to keep you sick. And to keep you wanting and craving something that is literally about to eat your ass alive. You better sit here and think very hard. Which road are you going to go up? You going to go up that easy road, keep following that twin flame shit? Or are you going to go through the struggle that it's going to take for you to heal and get yourself better? So that you can get to the light and find someone that is really divinely destined for you. And someone that's going to love you and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Not someone that's going to come around and try to take advantage of you for their financial gain, baby. Whoever created this term needs to be fucking shot and they need to be in jail. They have hurt a lot of people. And I said it once, I'm going to say it twice, I'm going to say it again. For my couples, it says embrace the thought of each other. You find the missing 
pieces okay so for my couples I do feel like for my couples here I don't I don't feel like for everybody I don't know. I want to say I don't feel like everybody, for everybody, that this person is coming back to manipulate. But I do. For my couples, I really do feel like that you guys, um, in this person, you find your missing piece in this person. But I just want to say, have discernment. Don't let nobody come back with no false promises. Like, yeah, I'm going to unplug my phone. I'm going to turn off my Facebook. I'm going to shut down all of that shit and just come down and suck you up with some head and some oral pleasantries. And I feel like this person, when y'all were together, this person would never give you um head. Now, all of a sudden, because they want to make things right, they want to come back and they want to give you everything that you want to give forth a peaceful illusion so that they can... What it says, oh oysters, come walk with us. The warriors did beseech. Now, if you remember on Alice in Wonderland, when that warriors and that carpenter went down there in that water, and they went down there and they was talking to them oysters and lured it away from its mother and brought them up on the shore. What did they do with them? They tricked them and made them think that they were going to celebrate and have a celebratory dinner, not even realizing that they were dinner. Think. I'm gone.